black. Uh, whites were not really that fried, as fired up as obviously as the blacks were. So now here, I, when it hits and I got 47% of the vote, I was 44% of the vote, and I go into a runoff with Frank Parsons, who was uh, a political novice, I think. I don't know what all Frank had been doing. He said he had been running some other campaigns, but he had, I, he had never run as far as I know. Um, I think it shook things up. But it, 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 it reverberated, though, that in the black community, it really fired the black community up. Gosh, you know, he was a candidate, 47 percent of the vote this far ahead. Oh, we can win. Now the black community is truly fired up. The white community, I think it sends tremors of fear through the community and the corporate community uh, also. And some of the people in the corporate community began an effort to organize to get a, a, a strong white turnout, and they did. Because that, that, that white vote shot up uh, to about uh, 60 some percent, which was a strong turnout. And the black vote the first time was 60 some percent. But in the runoff, I mean, blacks were so fired up that in the runoff, you know, I get uh, 73 percent of black turnout, which I think is probably still the record of turnout in the city of black voters percentage-wise. And uh, I, I'm able to get some crossover, racial crossover, some white votes, and Frank is only, it gets less than 1% of the black vote. And I mean, and so I, I end up winning by 2,000 or so, so votes over there. And, uh, and it was still, uh, somewhat difficult. With it. Tonight, uh, we were waiting for the results to come in at the old Parliament House, where I uh, was headquartered for the victory rally that night. David came came early. I, by the time my family arrived there, my dad, mom, and all, David came, and he was in there with us. And it was still sort of a sort of a choking experience there that he, had, you know. Uh, David, my friend, and I had uh, uh, defeated him. And, and I remember Richard Friedman was there interviewing us. And, and of course, he writes, and uh, he wrote in his article, you know, that uh, but sort of like choking up when he, I, when, when he was interviewing me. Because I felt that, that way. I mean, I was pleased I had won. But I was sad seeing that David had lost. I mean, that, that really was. But yet, you know, here was a guy who had come out and was supporting me and was there. And, doing things David had always done, you know. He was always putting the city first, and that's what he was still doing. So it was uh, something, something to remember. Uh, it was an interesting night uh, when, when I was elected. My supporters tore the Parliament House out. <laughs> 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 they bailed me, <laughs> bailed my campaign. Uh, they had to stop people from they eventually closed it down. The, the fire uh, inspectors came and wouldn't let anybody else come in the hotel. It was, it was interesting. I mean, it was really on a, on a cloud. It was an exciting night. I, I came down and the place was just jammed. And uh, I came down from the top floor suite. And we had to work our way through the crowd to get up to the stage. And, you know, it, that folks were shouting. Car horns were honking all over the place and all, and then the, you know, the president calls, just as I'm about to go down to greet the folk, the phone rings and it's President Carter, and you know, and he said something. And so it was a, because of a very uh, historic time, and I, I still remember it, and looking back at news clippings and stories, it just brings back those memories of uh, that particular that particular evening. You, uh, you mentioned that your total campaign costs in 